Are you a technological wizard or are you a technological failure like I am? I have had a very rough day. Back, oh, 25 years ago when computers really started to be prevalent in the workplace, I was employed by corporate America and I thought I was really cool because I knew how to do a Lotus 123 spreadsheet. And then we move forward to Lotus and I'm sorry to Excel and that seemed to be pretty easy for me and then the pervasiveness of the internet came along and I have managed to, do, to find my way pretty well on websites and different things that I need to do in my day-to-day -day work. Well, I'm on the brink of launching my own licensed site through the Social Networking Coaching Club and some of the things I need to do to prepare for it are recording videos and embedding videos and uh, taking screenshots and narrating them and embedding those in my site and it seems like I do great until that final step of embedding and then there's something that I miss, one step that just really drives me crazy. Today, for example, I spent a good four and a half hours trying to do something on my site that was technologically related that I was really not having an easy time with. So I could have called my web guy, who I do pay to do all my techie stuff, but I, I said, no, I'm going to handle this, I'm going to get through it, I need to learn how to do this, because once my site is set up, then it'll be done. Um, and for the life of me, I just was missing this one step. So I finally broke down and called my mentor, Ann Evanston, who's the CEO of Social Networking Coaching Club, and we got on a teleconference call, and she's walking me through it step by step. I'm feeling better about it. Everything's groovy. We hang up the phone, and I go to finish the job and do what it is I needed to do, and voila, it doesn't work. So at that point, I was ready to dive out my first floor window. Um, but I couldn't do that, and then I just wanted to throw my computer out the door, but that's pretty much how I do my business, so that wasn't going to work either. So I decided to just take a break, walk away, and go and have some lunch. So I did that, I came back, I sat down, took a deep breath, did it one more time, and for some odd reason the universe was on my side and it worked. And I closed my computer and went shopping. That was it for me. So my question is, am I the only one out there who's involved in social media on a daily basis that has technological problems? Because I'm feeling like I have a real, a real challenge here. I'm technologically challenged and I don't want to be because there's so many other things that I do so well. And I am just having a rough time with some of the little tiny details that um, don't seem to work for me the first time around and it's very frustrating. So I would like to know, am I the only one out there that, sorry that was my cat, am I the only one out there that has problems when it comes to embedding things into websites or videos or audios or whatever it might be? And I would love to hear your story. Uh, please share it with me and I appreciate you listening.